today we're going to roam around beautiful American Tobacco Campus here in Durham, North Carolina and get the shot. Let's go. What's up everybody? Phil with Tech Gear Fun here today. I want to do something a little different. I've never done this on the channel before. We're here in beautiful American Tobacco Campus, Durham, North Carolina. I wanted to roam around, take some shots. Um, we'll go out in the field where we are here, get some shots of American Tobacco. I'll take you back into the studio and walk you through the shots, show you all the settings that we've, we've got and what I was thinking about when I was taking the shot. So I'm gonna go ahead and just roam around, show you some of my favorite spots, get some video, get some photos, and we'll see how this works out. Okay, so this is a shot I actually got from the road, walking in. This is the R5 again with the 17 to 40. Use it for all these photos and all these videos. So I'm showing you, just showed you the raw file. Here is the edited file. So you can see what I've done. I use on one raw to do my processing. And then here is the final image. This, I got this from right up front actually. And here's another old bull kind of relic that they restored for the apartments that are inside of American Tobacco. You can see the raw file here. Here is the edited. I chose to go black and white on this one. I think black and white is a nice classic retro look. And then here is the final image. This is one of my favorite little spots here. Got this faux lunch downtown little area. It's a little overcast today, so you won't see. Usually there's a play on light here when the sun shines, but it's just a cool little area. Some old murals, or murals made to look old. A little spot to sit down if you'd like. That's not copyrighted music playing. Probably is. Probably looking at a copyright strike. Might have to cut this short. But this is just a cool little area. Took some shots in here. That I've already shown or I'll show you now. Okay, and here is my favorite spot by far at American Tobacco. I kind of talked about it a little bit in the video. You can see the raw file here. Now I will show you the edited file. You can see all the settings there, 180th of a second, F8, 17 millimeter, I was shooting in aperture priority and auto ISO. So you'll see the ISO change as we go through these shots. But I just love this little spot. Such a great little nook and cranny. Not many people know about it. If you're there, check it out. Just wanted to show you this area, which is usually a waterfall. For some reason it's dry right now, but usually water is flowing here and you can see will cause some ripples in the water. Again, you can see it's a bit of an overcast day. Uh, some will say it's good light. Some will say it's bad light. I think it's good light. So I'll give you a shot. These are all old tobacco warehouses that have been converted to a bunch of different businesses. There's a, a place where you can have wedding receptions. There is a radio station. There's an Otis and Parker, a number of different things. There's also office space in here, so they did a really good job revitalizing this area. So let's go ahead and grab some more shots. Okay, so here is a shot of the radio station. Again, you can see the settings. This is a really nice area. Like I said, they revitalized it. The, you can see the radio station. There's a lot of office space. Now you're looking at the edited file. And that, again, you can see the settings. And I use on one to do the editing, pump up the the volume, if you will, a little bit, and I think it gives it a really nice look. So here is the final image. So we're kind of coming back from the Mellow Mushroom, get the view of this beautiful tower. We'll see also how well the this lens, the 17 to 40 lens, does for video. I've got electronic image stabilization on. Walking slowly, we're at f22 now. This is just a pretty cool view. Hopefully. The video is coming okay. It looks like it's a little warbly, but I wanted to give you an idea on how this lens does for vlogging as well. Again, it's a 17 to 40, pretty good vlogging range. I'm gonna head, head around, get some more shots. 
So here's a cool little tractor on that walk back, heading back toward American Tobacco. There are a lot of cool little things around that make for nice little shots. And again, this is the, the raw file and now edited. I like to add some contrast. I like to add some sharpening to this and give them kind of a, a, a look that's a little different. Also pump up the colors to make it fall-like. And here is the final image of this cool little tractor as you walk back into campus. Another great little spot. You can see a little smokestack. And if you get into the right position, the water tower, we'll get some photos of this. Got a bike rack right beside me, so I can't go too much further, but this is 4K video, 30 frames per second. All right, F22, and then bring an ND filter. And there's a little park in the front, a little grass area where you can have a picnic and children can play. Really nice area. All right, let's see about getting some more shots. And here is the shot of the tower. There were a lot of folks there in look like prom dress, I'm thinking. By the way, all the video that you're seeing is unedited. At, it's basically out of the camera using that 17 to 40 at 17 millimeters. And here is the edited shot of the smokestack and the water tower together. So you can get a pretty good shot of that if you stand facing kind of the back of American tobacco. Here is the final shot of the tower and the smoke tap, smoke set. Here's another shot where you would normally see the river. There's a little waterfall here. Must be under refurb, or I'm not sure, just because of the current times that they don't want the water flowing. But it does look really nice. I'll have to get back here one time and show you with that water. I've got some shots on my Instagram. If you follow me, at Bull City Pictures. On my Instagram, you'll see some shots of that. And there is a smokestack. Quite a few people here today, actually. It's not a beautiful day, but it's not too bad. 65 degrees or so. And we're gonna head down to where the Cascade of the Waterfall used to be. Also down here, this is the home of Burt's Bees. So we will check out Burt's Bees, get some shots of some really cool murals on the side of the Burt's Bees building. So we're gonna head down to Burt's Bees, grab some shots. So here is Burt and check out the sharpness on this. This is at F8, just wanted to do this for a sharpness test. It might not come out as well on YouTube, but it is a very sharp lens, the combo of the R5 with all those megapixels and that 17 to 40 lens, really nice, great combo. Plenty of pixels if you want to crop. I didn't crop this one too much as you can see. And there is a final image with the colors pumped up a little bit, but kind of cool little sharpness test there. So here is the mural. This is on the side of where Burt's Bees is. I took some pictures as well. I just wanted to show you in video, get an idea on how big this is. Really well done. Lots of detail. All right, let's see about getting some more shots. I think that's gonna do it for this episode of Getting the Shot. Beautiful American tobacco here in Durham, North Carolina.